Real Madrid plan a Pogba raid. Spurs could sell at least two more players. Leroy Sane is free to go. The worst kit in England has been unveiled. And we've got a roundup of all the day's transfer rumours. That and more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. First off, and to Paul Pogba. Yes, when all the sagas like De Ligt, Neymar, Antoine Griezmann, and Jao Felix are finally said and done, Paul Pogba is still not left Manchester United yet, and it's still dragging on. Every day there's a new rumour linking him with Juventus, Barcelona, or Real Madrid, but now it seems like that there is some truth to the Real Madrid one, as they've put a few more players up for sale. This is because they're going to need to raise a hell of a lot of money if they're to bring Paul Pogba to the club. It's been said that they have to spend around 200 100 million euros to bring the Frenchman in. So they've put Isco up for sale for 72 million. Essential is also up for sale. Gareth Bale could be leaving the club. At least they can get him off the wage bill with a loan deal. Danny Sabaros is reportedly moving to Arsenal, and there's a few more who could earn them a few quid just yet. All of this is, of course, to kitty together enough money to bring Paul Pogba in, but there's no sign of Barcelona doing the same. Unfortunately, they can't really afford Neymar right now if they just spent 120 million euros on Antoine Griezmann. So reports have it they're looking for a loan for Neymar. I don't really think that's going to happen either. And talking of selling a few players, Spurs aren't quite done trimming their squad just yet. Yesterday, Kieran Trippier completed his move to Atletico Madrid in what was possibly one of the weirdest transfers of the summer. Not because that he's not a decent player, but Atletico Madrid signing an older player from Spurs... 28 is not really that old, but for 20 million or so, I'm not really sure why they've done it. And I'm not quite sure they couldn't have just gone for someone a bit younger. Anyway, they have signed him and Spurs have let him go, but it doesn't stop there for the North London club. Christian Eriksen has been said to be on the move with only a year left on his contract. And Atletico Madrid have yet again spoken to Spurs and inquired about the Danish playmaker. Real Madrid is said to be interested, but obviously with them going for Pogba, it looks like Atletico could move in, but it's not 100% certain that Eriksen will leave. Alongside this, Danny Rose has been left out of the squad which will travel to the Far East for their preseason tour because he's been told he can find himself a new club as well. With both fullbacks potentially going, Spurs definitely need to invest heavily in these areas. And moving on to another Premier League side and it's Manchester City who started their preseason with a fantastic 4-1 victory over West Ham during which Leroy Sané had a pretty good game. But according to Pep Guardiola, he is free to leave if he's unhappy. Now a 90 million to 100 million pounds is obviously going to take a big club with a big checkbook to come in and sign the German, potentially by Munich. But Guardiola has said that despite the money, if a player isn't happy, if any player in the squad isn't happy, they can leave. Sane has two years left in his contract and has shown absolutely no sign of signing a new one. Guardiola mentioned that the club did offer him a fairly good deal, but he won't be signing it and the former Schalke man could be leaving on a free. I think we're going to see a trend with these nowadays in football. Players aren't necessarily going to leave on a free, but they're just going to let their contract run down so one year before they can get a move earlier than they like. Sane probably isn't interested in doing Man City like that, leaving for no money. But next summer, if he still hasn't signed a new deal, they'll be open to accepting lower offers and will give himself more chance of moving. But well, moving away to transfers for a minute, and if you haven't seen this just yet, feast your eyes on Huddersfield's new kit. With a ridiculous Paddy Power logo stretched over the shoulder all the way down to the bottom of the shirt, it's pretty much breaking the rules on sponsorship logos from the FA. So much so that they've decided to get in contact with Huddersfield. According to the FA, you can only have a circle or a square in the middle of the shirt showing the brand sponsor. But Huddersfield has thought, screw this, we're going to go for a massive Paddy Power sash, which looks like something you find in a Miss World competition. Now, for those of you who don't know, Paddy Power is a betting company, so that's pretty much standard for every team these days. But the logo is a bit ridiculous. Paddy Power are known for some ridiculous stunts, but I think they've been caught out with this one. And furthermore, whoever designed the kit at Huddersfield should have definitely known that this was against the FA regulations. They did wear the game in a friendly last night, and I'm assuming assuming that it will be rescinded, they'll have to put out a new one, and this one will just become a legendary kit that will sell for a few hundred quid on eBay in a few years. Before we get on to the last bit of the daily news though, I want to hear from you guys on this ridiculous kit from Huddersfield. Would you wear it or do you think it's absolute rubbish? Gonna leave a poll right about here so you guys can have your say. But moving on lastly to a roundup of the transfer news where Jean-Michael Serri will be leaving Fulham and heading to Galatasaray to ease their financial worries after relegation. Fiorentina have made an offer for out-of-contract striker Fernando Llorente, but I'm Munich are willing to pay the £25 million release clause for Celta Vigo's attacking midfielder Bryce Mendes. And Manchester United could offer cash plus Phil Jones for Harry Maguire after seeing a few bids rejected. So will Real Madrid get enough money together to buy Paul Pogba and who will Spurs be signing a replacement for their fullbacks? Of course, let me know your thoughts on those issues and all the rest of the daily news in the comment section down below. Whilst you're down there, you can also smash the like button.
button and click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I will see you guys later.